So the sheriff's office uh, just prior to 5 p.m. today got a 911 call from a passerby that witnessed uh, an adult male on the ground at Pleasant Oak Mobile Home Park, which is uh, Ayers Drive off of Old Whitesville Road. Uh, as they passed by, they saw this individual being mauled by two pit bulls. And uh, the sheriff's office responded and, along with EMS and fire. And uh, upon their arrival, determined that that individual did die as a result of that dog attack. Yes, sir. I can uh, confirm uh, the coroner's office was contacted uh, shortly uh, thereafter. Um, our office is here along with the sheriff's office investigators, and we can confirm that we do have a, a deceased individual. Um, the coroner's office are in, in contact with notifying families um, at this time. So uh, we can confirm that there, unfortunately, is a fatality involved in this incident today. And you talked to me about these dogs. Uh, you said that the dogs were not necessarily connected to the man. These weren't, this, this wasn't this gentleman's dogs, right? That's right. He was just a passerby in a common area between two mobile homes here. Uh, and as he passed by, those dogs um, uh, escaped off the front porch of their residence. And that's where the attack occurred in that common area. And I mean, is there any status on where these dogs are now or, you know, what punishment might be coming to the homeowners? So this is still under active investigation. Uh, detectives are following up and, and interviewing witnesses and the dog owner. Um, right now the dogs are in custody of the uh, Berkeley, County, Berkeley County Animal Center. Um, and um, and uh, so they're no longer a danger to the community at this time. Have you ever had any any issues out here with dogs before? Is this the first time you've ever responded to this house for anything? Or? It, right now, that's one of the things that we're looking into is any prior history. Uh, as I said, that we're dealing with the, the scene here and preserving that evidence, and that'll be something we'll definitely look into. Um, sorry, uh, roughly, how much longer do you guys think you'll be out here on the scene? I'm not sure. So behind my shoulder here, they're, they're taking uh, photographs. Our forensics unit uh, is processing the scene. Uh, so they'll have a little bit more work to do before we clear here. And then there's other detectives that are interviewing witnesses and the dog owner. And now with a case like this, um, someone's actually died from dogs. What kind of consequences could the, the, the owners of the dogs be facing? So, uh, again, that depends on the outcome of the investigation, whether something like this has happened uh, with these dogs or dog owner in the past. Um, uh, at, at this point, it doesn't look like this was a provoked attack. Uh, unprovoked, the gentleman just happened to be passing by and the, and the, uh, the dogs attacked. I mean, you've, you've been a coroner, not necessarily always the coroner, but you've been working in the coroner's office for a long, long time. Um, how does this compare to other, other calls you may have received uh, of a similar nature? Yes, unfortunately, here in Berkeley County, we don't get these calls um, too regularly. Um, a few years ago, we had one um, similar to this as well, but it's definitely a tragic incident um, for something like this to happen here in Berkeley County. Um, you know, our prayers, our thoughts goes out to the family. Uh, while we are you know, trying to get them notified as, as, as we speak as well. And so when, when, when someone was driving, were they driving down here and just happened to see, see somebody over here? Right, so several people saw this incident as it was occurring. Um, I believe our 911 caller was traveling down Old Whitesville <laughs> Road and saw the dogs dragging around an object and turned around and then discovered that that object was a, was a human being, was a person. And she did what she could um, to, to try to um, you know, in the attack, but there, there wasn't much to be done. So she did the right thing, stayed in her car, called 911, and, and uh, uh, eventually the, uh, the dogs were, were, were able to be uh, contained.